Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. We are here for another taste test video. We are gonna be sampling some goodies from Chimp, Chimp, not Chimp, Chip. So we are gonna be testing some goodies from Chipmunk Baking, and um, they reached out to me and said that they had taken a poll of some of their best customers, and uh, my name came up. You guys recommended, so to whoever it was that recommended my channel, thank you so much, but you guys recommended that they reach out and send me some goodies to try, and so we are excited to do so. Let's see, oh, look at this great picture. I love it. I love being able to support small businesses and seeing all the people behind it. That is so cool. Okay, so we have some Keto Bites here. These are the Cinnabon. Do you guys like cinnamon? Yes. yes. Yeah? Okay. Cinnabon Keto Bites. They're there? like a bun, but they're cinnamon. Okay, next, another Keto Bite is Red Velvet. So a lot of these have eggs in them, and that's why Levi is not with us testing them but they do have, Chipmunk Baking has a vegan chocolate chip cookie that has no eggs, and they sent me a whole bunch of those for Levi, and so he will be doing his taste tests of those here pretty soon. I didn't think he should have to sit through us tasting all of these other ones um, that he couldn't have. All right, next, next keto bite is birthday cake. Uh, do you like birthday cake? Uh, yes. I bet I will. Yes. It's got the sprinkles. Okay, and then now they have a bunch of protein cookies. Peanut butter protein cookies. A couple of those. White chocolate macadamia protein cookies. And chocolate chip pecan cookies. And then the last ones in here are all of the vegan chocolate chip cookies they sent for Levi. Isn't that sweet? They sent so many. I would say to try this one. Do you, you want to try it first? I want to try this one first, then this one, then this one. Okay, so we'll put it in order. Like that, and then we'll try the protein cookies. Mm -hmm. Let me get um, a knife so we can cut the cookies in pieces. The video's on, Jerry. I know. I bet she's cutting this part out. She will probably. Probably. Oh, give it a smell. Oh my goodness. Mm. Yeah. I wish you could smell it. It smells. It smells. It uh, smells really uh, strong. So they could probably smell really? it from. From. Oh, is that your favorite joke now? Yes. Yeah. All right. We could save some a piece soft. for Talia. We could. Okay, here we go. Mm. That piece is for the subscribers. There you go. Here's the mm. rice. Mmm, mm. it's really chewy. Mmm. Mm. Wow, that is really good. The first ingredient is sunflower seed flour. I love that because I don't do well with a lot of almond flour. And so many keto products are just almond flour, 100%. But I love the sunflower seed, flour, allulose, butter, white chocolate chips, egg, vanilla, cinnamon salt, konjac powder, which is glucomannan, psyllium husk, and plant fibers, um, vitamin E, and monk fruit extract. Total carbs per one bite is nine grams, two grams of dietary fiber, and um, six grams of allulose. So if you're doing net carbs, it's one net carb per bite, because um, six of those nine carbs are from the allulose, which I personally don't count allulose at all. Okay, we gotta get through all these. Here we go. Next is birthday cake. Oh, you wanna do red velvet next? You saving the best for last? Yes. Oh, okay. Hopefully, hopefully the best. Yeah. Man, that, the, the texture was really good. Ooh, that smells good. Oh my goodness. That smells really good. It smells like brownies. It smells like brownies. But there's no chocolate in this. This is not chocolate. It just smells like brownies. It's red velvet. There you go. Okay. Here we go. What are you doing? It tastes like a brownie too. You think so? No. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm trying to like place what it reminds me of. It kind of reminds me of like a Larabar texture. 
but without the crunchy nuts in it. It's, it's a lot more smooth and chewy. It's just really good. Well, it, I, it reminds me of a brownie. It reminds you? Yeah, it does kind of like a really dense brownie. Not a cakey brownie, but like a dense, chewy brownie. That is a good um, description of the texture. I like that. Okay, you ready to try this one next? Yes. Okay. Smell like Play-Doh. That does smell like Play-Doh. <laughs> I don't know what you're smelling, but it smells like salty and buttery. It smells buttery to me. Okay, let me smell it again. Smell it again. Smells like Play-Doh. <laughs> it does smell like Play-Doh. Oh my goodness. Okay. I love the amount of butter in these. Like, you can tell they're nice and buttery. Okay, there you go. I have the one with the blue sprinkle. Yeah, there's, you can see the, a little already? bit of sprinkly in there. Why did okay. you do that already? <laughs> oh, it's okay. Go ahead. Uh, this tastes like something uh, that I've had before. It's... This is one of the waffles. Because I have waffles in it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it tastes I... like cake batter. I make or... the waffles like cake batter. It tastes salty. These tastes are salty. so good. It, it does have a. It does taste salty. I like that. <laughs> Oh, this one has almond flour um, is, as the first ingredient instead of the um, sunflower seed. Yeah, I'm I'm loving the texture on these. It's almost like that Larabar-ish type texture, but not with chunks of nuts in it. Really, really good. And man, the butter, I mean, it just makes it amazing. Okay, yeah, are you guys ready to try these? So which one of the bites was your favorite? Um, birthday cake. Birthday cake? Yes. What do you think, Renee? This one. Birthday cake. Mm. Look at this. This is the um, white chocolate macadamia nut. We'll do a little break here. Ooh, it's so soft. <gasps> oh my it's gosh. a little mouth. Yeah, the yeah. texture. So, mm. The texture is so... It doesn't have much smell. So not nice. much. Not, not as much as those. Yeah, not, it doesn't smell as much as those. You're right. Oh. Okay, here we go. Ready? Go. Go. Um, it's really good. It's kind of salty. It is salty. It's not but salty I like that. At all. I like salt in my baked goods. So the texture difference is pretty big. These are very much cookie like. Very soft and like chewy cookie. Just totally different texture. Flavor? Really good. Mm. Alright, we gotta get through three more heights. Mm. Chocolate chip pecan is next. Mm. Oh my gosh, the, the texture of that is just so cookie-like. And it's not, it's not um, grainy. Like a lot of almond flour baked goods, they're like grainy and it just feels like you're eating ground up almonds. This feels like you're eating a cookie. Oh my gosh. This one has a protein, allulose is the first ingredient, protein blend of whey protein casein and whey protein isolate. It does have some almond flour. It has some oat, fl uh, oat flour, mm. eggs, white chocolate. So these ones have 21 total carbs per cookie, but it's a pretty big cookie. Two grams of fiber, 12 grams of allulose, one gram of glycerin. So that makes six net carbs. All right, so this one is chocolate chip pecan. I love pecan. Look at how bendy that is. I want to feel how bendy it is. You do. Okay. Oh, that is right. bendy. Look at that. All right, pop it. Um, I ate mine first. <laughs> I just can't get over the texture. The texture is like soft, chewy cookie. It's like the perfect cookie texture in my opinion. Those are really good. Peanut butter cookie. Oh no, we're out of water. Oh, it smells like peanut butter. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, this texture is amazing. Can How's I break do this one? How do they sure. do it? There you go. Oh wow. Very peanut buttery. Very peanut buttery. Mmm. That's what it's supposed to be. Wow. I think these have gotten to be the best keto cookies I've ever tried. Seriously. And I wouldn't just say that. 
We're going to try a little bit of the um, vegan one. And then we have these left for Levi. Almond flour, allulose, coconut oil instead of butter. Chocolate chips, flax, chia. And chia is probably in place of the eggs. And the rest is pretty similar to everything else. Can I break it? Oh, no, sorry. Oh, it's got some whole chia seeds in there. Ready? Oh no, that wasn't very even. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. So that yeah, you can, you can see the little chia seeds in there, along with the chocolate chips. But we need to smell it. It smells weird. It smells odd. <laughs> I think it smells like a cookie. It's really good. Like, the texture is still really good. You can taste the, like, the crunchiness of the chia seeds. But it's really good. Um, for being vegan, like, I'm not disappointed. Okay, did we already say what our favorite bites were? I did. Yeah, no. I did. I, I, Which one was your favorite? The birthday. Birthday cake was the best. Uh, it's a toss-up between the birthday cake and the red velvet for me. I think I'd probably say taste-wise the birthday cake. But if I was going to go order this, I would probably go for the red velvet because it was still really, really good. And it's with the sunflower seed flour instead of the almond flour. So that's the only reason I would order these instead of these because these one taste really good. Okay, now for the cookies, we have the vegan chocolate chip. We have the white chocolate macadamia nut. We have the chocolate chip pecan. And we have the peanut butter. Renee, what was your favorite of the cookies? Um, two of these are really, really good. You like the chocolate chip pecan and the white chocolate macadamia? That was the first this one. This is my favorite one. White chocolate macadamia. Okay, Charity, what about you? Peanut butter. Peanut butter. That was really good. I think my favorite, it's a really tough decision, but it was, I think it's probably the chocolate chip pecan. And I'm not usually one that likes nuts in my cookies, but they're like, the pecan is pretty small in there. So it's not like giant chunks of nuts. It just gives like a nice pecan flavor. So good. Oh my gosh. Everything I, I tasted, I liked, like legitimately delicious. I'm still blown away by the texture, the way they achieved this texture with, was it 10 grams of protein per cookie? 10 grams of protein per cookie. Like that's amazing. So here at the end, I will put Levi's review of the vegan chocolate chip cookies. Thanks so much for hanging out with us and testing all of these delicious goodies. I will have a link down below so you can go check them all out. Thanks so much for watching. Say bye. 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 <laughs> My cookie. <laughs> You're crazy. Right, did, you, some more did you want one. the peanut butter one? Which one? This one? This one. Sure, go for it. And I'll have the rest of this one. So the people at Chipmunk Baking sent you a whole bunch of cookies. Look. Look at all of these cookies they sent you. Same? They're all the same and they all have no eggs. No eggs. And there's four. There's five. Okay, I want to keep these four at my room. You want to keep them in your room? No, keep these at my room. And so you can just eat them whenever you want? Yeah. Okay. Like when I, but if I eat a protein, I gotta have one. Oh, right. If you eat a protein, then you can. Can you sit down and turn around? Because you have to be able to see the good scene on the camera. So before you eat a cookie, you're going to have a protein? Yeah, but... Yeah. What, what kinds of foods are protein? Um, meat. Yeah, that's right. But this, but, um, I already have two, but this one, I just, these ones and I, I just eat when I wake up and have protein. So you're going to keep them in your room, you're going to wake up, have protein, and then eat cookies? Yeah. Like, okay. Um, wait, have green drink, um... Your green drink, which is Athletic Greens, which yeah, you have every morning. and... It and, helps you stay healthy and strong. Yeah, and then and then I eat protein, and then I have one of those. And then you have a cookie. Okay, now you ready to try this? Yeah! Okay, here we go. Vegan, which means it's egg-free. He doesn't have to be dairy-free, but he does have to be egg-free. So vegan is safe. But it just goes mushy. Oh, you're going to have to see. You see if it's a crunchy cookie or a soft cookie. You see the little chia seeds and chocolate chips in there? Yep. Okay, you ready to, like, break it in half? Show them how it looks when it breaks. So is it crunchy or soft? Soft. Yeah, it is. All right. Go ahead. 
chocolate chip but with no chocolate chips in it. Did you get a bite with no chocolate chips? Mm-hmm. And it tastes really good even without chocolate chips? Yeah. Okay. Mm. What do you think? Oh, that has a bunch of chocolate chips. You could try that part. Those chocolate chips are um, soft, too. They are soft. I noticed that as well. The chocolate chips are soft. That's very observant. And then you can put it back together. Maybe. What's it smell like? It smells like that's the cookie. Yeah. But do they do they have no gluten too? Yeah, they have no gluten too. That's right. And a hundred. A hundred what? A hundred bites. A hundred bites? Yeah. You're gonna take a hundred bites? No, and just I just have a hundred thumbs up. Oh, a hundred thumbs up. So you think it's pretty tasty? Mm-hmm. It's pretty special to have some cookies that have no eggs, huh? Mm-hmm. Because usually when there's cookies around, we say, do they have eggs? And they say, yes, they have eggs. And then you can't eat them, right? Yeah, and sometimes they say yes. And sometimes they say, no, they have no eggs. Just yeah. like this one. Yeah. And is there anything else you want to say about the cookie? No. Uh, did you want to say thanks for watching? Thanks don't, for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes. Go ahead. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>